KCD Gardner for Discovery News. I'm at the National Aerospace Training and Research Center in Southampton, Pennsylvania, where I'm going to introduce you to Wilson Da Silva, a citizen astronaut who's going to be on board one of the maiden voyages of Virgin Galactic into space. I, I know a couple of my friends think this is the uh, sort of the the super uber geek um, joyride of all time, and I guess I guess that's true. Wilson Da Silva is one of the first 100 people going into space as part of Virgin Galactic's space tourism program. But before these citizen astronauts blast off into space, they, of course, have to go through some training. They do it here at this Pennsylvania facility for two days where they get their mind and bodies ready for flight. This is exactly what Wilson and the other trainees have gone through. What we're showing is that the G-force is in two different modes, G-X and G-Z, which okay. are applied in different directions to your body, will be applied simultaneously during the launch phase of, okay. of the uh, rocket uh, ignition. And this means that when that rocket motor kicks in, you're going to be pushed back in your seat and downward at the same time. And it's actually felt like um, three rather large sumo wrestlers were sitting on my chest. De Silva is not an astronaut. He's a journalist. I've been a science journalist for many, many years. I'm editor of a science magazine called Cosmos. I always wanted to go into space, but I had as much chance, I thought, of going into space as I did of becoming, I don't know, Secretary General of the United Nations. And here's how he's going into space. Virgin is now offering suborbital space flights to the general public, and the chief financial backer of Cosmos magazine bought De Silva a ticket. And they aren't cheap. They retail for $200,000. The top reason is absolutely that to see the Earth from above, something that... Uh, so few people have done, I mean, some people think that that's kind of cool, you know, I'm one of the first 500, but actually what's really exciting to me is looking back on the planet that we all came from. Boy, does that make you appreciate the planet. Um, probably the second one is uh, that you're contributing to a whole new industry, uh, commercial space flight. I mean, look, this is how the airline industry began. De Silva says still right now, the suborbital space travelers don't have too many details about the actual flight. Um, but the whole trip, from start to finish, will last about two and a half hours. The whole experience in space is tops, you know, 15 minutes, it could be 10 minutes, and you're only in zero gravity for about five of those minutes. It will be a lottery system that will determine the flight order of the first 100 passengers. But there's still no launch date, and De Silva says it could still be a year or two away. It's going to be a hell of a ride, and the longer it takes, the more anticipation you, you get, and the, hey, the more bragging rights you get with your friends. And if you want bragging rights too, then get in line, because Virgin Galactic told me that almost 300 space flights have already been sold. At the NASTAR Center in Southampton, Pennsylvania, for Discovery News, I'm Casey D. Gardner.